Alright guys, hello and welcome to the new Everdell channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to install the Ablocalypse mod pack into your Minecraft folder. Um, this will be a profile thing, so you can use multiple profiles if you want to go back to 1.7.4 or whatever and play vanilla. That's, you know, you can do that now with the new Minecraft launcher capabilities. So of course the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the new Minecraft launcher that takes forever to upload. I mean, uh, to open. And... Wait... And so, whoops, I deleted my Minecraft folder for this tutorial. Let's see if I can't remember my password. There it is. Alright. So, the first thing you want to do is new profile. You're going to want to call this whatever. I'm just going to call it a block ellipse mod pack. And what you're going to want to do is check game directory, but don't touch anything in there yet. And use version, you're going to want to do 1.6.4. I'm also going to set it to launch with 4 gigabytes of memory. And then save profile and go and launch on the mod pack. So again, use version 1.6.4, check game directory, uh, check the box next to game directory, and uh, we'll modify the amount of RAM you want it to be running on if you have that, or if you have more that can be used. So you're going to want to do those downloads. While we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and open up the mod pack. What you can do is you can use 7-zip here, just go and extract here, or use WinRAR, WinZip, whatever you want to use. We no longer need that mod pack. So now, in the mod pack, you'll see Instances, Forge, Installer, Profile View, and Readme Install. So the Readme Install, you can go ahead and ignore for now, um, unless I go too fast or I forget something, and I'm going to make sure I don't forget anything before I upload it. But uh, Profile View, that's what your profile should look like at the end of this tutorial. But again, since you're watching the video, you can pretty much ignore those two. So once Minecraft launches, make sure it says 1.6.4 in the bottom, and go ahead and quick game. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, .minecraft folder, which most people just click on the Windows uh, button down at the bottom left, and type in percent app data percent in the run bar, and here you'll see your .minecraft. In there you'll see all this kind of stuff. What you want to do is you want to go on our mod pack here and drag the instance into instances folder straight into the .minecraft folder. Not in any of these folders. Make sure you just drop it in the white space and it says move to .minecraft. Bam. Inside instances should be Aberdell and then all of the things we have set up. So, next thing you're going to do is go ahead and run the Forge installer. Alright, so you're going to want to install client. This should be correct. So make sure you install client, hit OK. And then it'll go ahead and install. And by the way, while it's installing, in my note, we are trying to make this easier for you. Uh, we're trying to get it so the forge is already installed just inside here I'm not sure if I can do that I'll be doing testing later and so hopefully all you have to do is drag in the instances and then edit the profile which is what we're gonna do next so now open up your minecraft launcher again also don't close out of this without minecraft we're still we still need this so what you want to do is go back to your block ellipse mod pack and edit profile use version right use version 1.6.4 forge Right, and up here in the game directory, had you checked that earlier, you might be wondering why. What you want to do is you want to go in the without Minecraft instances and then Aberdell. Um Now, what you need to do is I don't know if you can do this on Windows 8. I assume you can. I'll put a workaround version if you can. But what you want to do is up here at the bar, go ahead and click over to the right where there's nothing, and it should highlight the system path. So copy that, delete everything that's in game directory, and paste. So now you have something that should look like, you know, users, your username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, instances, Aberdell. Uh, to make sure that works, go ahead and hit open game directory. It should bring you to the Aberdell folder, which it does. Great. And you go ahead and hit save profile. Now you're running, so again, make sure you have game directory checked and set to Aberdell, and make sure you're using version 1.6.4 Forge. Okay, save, hit play. Alright, see mo 9 mods loaded, 9 mods, up, mods active, that's great. You can see it's running the uh, forge. And you should be able to get into the server. Which I am. Great. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helps you install the mod pack. Again, I will be trying to set up the mod pack to be easier to install for you guys. 
Um, someone suggested that we use the Feed the Beast launcher or the Technic launcher, something like that, uh, to install the files, and we will be looking into that as well. Hopefully, uh, we can get this as easy as possible to install. I mean, if you look at that, it was that was about a five-minute install just for the video. And once, you know, every once in a while we might have an update. Uh, we might add another mod or remove one of the mods or something like that. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just re replace the Aberdell folder within the instances unless we update, like, which version. But since Flans mod has been 1.6.4, we have to basically stick with this so we can have our guns and vehicles. So again, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you on the server.